straight. And drop. better now. Mm. Alexa, you are not going to school dressed like that. Dad. Dad, what? Do what Emily, what your mom said. Cover yourself up. Thank you. Really? You're going there? I'm the head cheerleader. I'm supposed to look like this. Cover up. Not a happy daughter. I know, honey. I know. Here's your coffee. Thank you, Izzy. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Oh, and yes, and that outfit won't make it past the front gate. Why can't you dress normally? What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Jesus. Stephen, please don't take the Lord's name in vain. Look, if you come dressed to football practice like that, you'll be the laughing stock. So, uh, and what's with the black nail polish? Who wears that to play football? It could be an Oakland Raider. Oh, please don't encourage him. Please. <laughs> you know, I don't even like football. It's stupid. Besides, I'm tired of having my ass slapped all day by a bunch of grunting jocks and tights. <laughs> Does have a point there, honey. Yeah. I just don't want to see my son dressed up like... Like a what? You know, you're not my real dad, so I don't know why you care about how I'm dressed or what... God damn it, I'm trying to get you to focus. Nice. You're going to be late for work, and you too will be late for school, so let's all move it out, okay? That's enough, honey. Yep. Uh, I will see you at practice today with the game on Friday. Alexa, okay. be in the car. You have a good day. Thank you, baby. Steven, move it. Now. that practiced these 30 minutes earlier today, okay? okay. And don't be late. Right, well, I'll tell them. I'll see you. these sacred grounds wearing such evil clothes my last name is Tade it is not O'Connor he's like the devil sister Claire yeah oh, <laughs> quiet all of you 
he will go to confession for the entire second period, and this will not go unpunished. <laughs> is almost over. Let's, uh, let's turn to chapter 12. You're getting to know the inside of this office pretty well, aren't you? Your Grandpa Joe, we're going to honor in a couple of days, has been an integral part of this church for more than 30 years. You are part of his family now. He looks on you like one of his true granddaughters. How do you think he'd feel about what just went on outside? Altering. Or oh, yes, not very fashionable or glamorous school uniform. And sashaying across the grass for the uh, entertainment of our male students. Sets the wrong example. I know. I know. I want you to have fun, Alexa. But I need you to respect yourself. Otherwise, no one's going to respect you. You want the boys to treat you properly? They're never going to treat you properly if, if you draw them into temptation. I'm sorry, Monsignor. Okay. Now go on, get back to class. Thank you, Monsignor. You're welcome. is when Satan enters and takes over the physical as well as the mental capabilities of the person. However, the soul will remain free. Satan, Satan acts, acts through, through the victim without the victim's consent. Thus the victim is morally blameless. Satan does not act alone when he possesses an individual. He works side by side. With many spirits. Hey, you're gonna ask God, God to forgive you. Spirits, lust, spirits, hate. Example of that in the Bible? Michelle. There's an example in Luke, uh, the case of the possessed man in the territory of the Gerasenes. And then Jesus asked, What is your name? And he replied, Legion, because many demons had entered him. Come with me. I will address your troubles. Well, right. Well, it was good class. Enjoy your day, girls. Claire? Yes. What do you think is wrong with my brother? I think someone is inside him. And I'm not like possessed. No one is troubling your brother, dear. But something is. And sister, sometimes I feel it too. Like a dream you can't remember. And you know it's really important. But Twins it's... often transfer thoughts. You know, I am aware of the troubles that your brother has had. Since your father left and your mother remarried. Stephen doesn't believe he left us. You have to be strong for him, Michelle. Nothing happens without divine intervention. God never wills evil. But if we have to face it, he gives us all the power to defeat it, child.
Miss Jill, are you all right? Yes, yes, I, I, I oh, think so. God. Grandfather, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm uh, taking my last exam. I have my ordination and orientation on Sunday. <laughs> and I'm late. Listen, you have a good day. Okay. Sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'll, I'll see you Sunday. I'll see you Sunday. Okay. Sweetie, next time you look where you're going, okay? Our curriculum extends well beyond the pulpit and the classroom. I want to do that. Come on, Can I be a cheerleader? Can you be a cheerleader? How about a linebacker? Do they dance? Sometimes, when they win. I want to be that girl. Well, you can be a cheerleader and you can just be yourself. You feel free to look around uh, and stop by my office on the way out. Let's do it again. All right, go to the I personally thought they were very good. That's why you're not a dance instructor. And one, two. Go on, on the whistle. Do not stop until you hear the whistle blow. Let's go. Let's go. Oscar! Tempo, tempo. Hey, no. Get him over there. Get. Steven, why aren't you out there practicing? Steven. Coach. Father. Oh, good practice. Thank you. Hey, let's go. Steven. Hey. Come on. Let's go. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay, look. Lion. Boogie. 290Z. All right? Hey. You got this. Let's go. So much you can do. How's it going? Well, I'm trying to get Steven to step up. Line boogie. 290ZX. All right, guys, line boogie, 290ZX. Line boogie, 290ZX. Ready? Ready! Didn't make it to mass last Sunday. <laughs> no, I talked to Jesus about it, but he told me to sleep in. Okay, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Way. If that boy's focus matched his talent, he'd be an all-league candidate next year. Okay, Ben, watch his waist, not his feet. Nice hit. This game's about scoring points, not settling scores. Catch the ball next time. Good, good, good. let's go. That is not how we play football here. You understand me? Come on, let's go. Laps. Laps. Come on. Laps, 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 laps. Let's go. Let's go. Little hustle. You all right? 
<laughs> he's a football player. He'll be fine. Got what was coming to him. Oh, yeah, I know. This is the proudest day of my whole life. your day, Joseph. If I could, I would not take anything from you. I spent most of my life working for the church. Without you, I never could have gotten so far. In a few months, it's our 50th anniversary, and that will be the happiest day for our family. It's so beautiful. Michelle, my baby. God bless you, mate. Michelle. Oh, Dad. I am such a blessed man. Look at the four beautiful women. And now two, two granddaughters. How are you? How are you? Randy Governor. Thank you for coming. Congratulations. Oh, wow. How are you girls doing? Oh, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah. You excited for your big day. Am I excited? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, this is a great honor for you, Grandfather. Well, you keep up your Bible studies, you'll be right behind me, sweetie. Steve. Okay. What? A little prep, buddy, a little prep. Amen. Amen. What the hell is this beautiful? It's okay. Steven, don't be rude. You greet your grandfather. Sorry. You know how it is, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so distant. We all cry. Joseph has sacrificed himself for our church for many years. His devotion to bringing God's children into our fold is unequal. He's nurtured our boys to adolescence, into manhood, even sometimes delivering them to the church's greatest blessing, the priesthood. If we could award a greater accolade than a deaconate on Joseph, we would. But I know that Joseph's greatest reward is our Lord's respect and love. On behalf of our church, the Vatican, and all its dominions, we thank you, Joseph. Monsignor, you worthy in praise you to do much. Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who taketh away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Now I'll ask that we all approach the altar in order to receive the body of Christ. As deacon, this will be Joseph's first time providing the Eucharist. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world. The lake house is where your grandparents were married. Mm. And it's gonna mean a lot to your grandmother to have us all there. It's the anniversary, okay? Look, it'll be fun. Here, you're gonna see your cousins. You're gonna enjoy my brilliant barbecuing. That's right. I don't know what's worse, the cousins or barbecuing or that creepy house. That's funny. That's what Steven used to call it when he was little. Is that what he called it? Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 God, ew, <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go see what's keeping Mom and Michelle. Okay. Emily, it's been six years since he left you and the twins. Isn't six years long enough to find forgiveness in your heart? He never left. Let's go. Come on, ladies. Let's go. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Coming. It would be nice to get there before dark. Thank you. Hope you out over here. Steven, hey, I'm not listening to that awful music for the next two hours. It's the kind of music the devil used to possess your body. I don't know about possession, but it might make his eyeliner darker. <laughs> yeah, we got proof right there. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Everybody, just chill out. We've got a long ride ahead of us. Let's go. After you. Come. I said, come. Let's get this truck unloaded. Tomorrow we party with it tonight. We chill and get some rest. I'm gonna go for a swim. No, 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 no. We, we need your help. Yeah, Steven, we need your help. All right, I don't expect anything else. I don't understand you guys can be twins. You guys are nothing alike at all. Uh, Michelle, guess what? Thank you, appreciate you got it. Got it? Yep, yep, don't worry about it. Dad's got the rest of it. Stop complaining, you're big and strong. Ah. Always the way. Steven, come on! 
I've always been drawn to this place. Yes, you have. <laughs> Where's Monsignor Canal? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, he couldn't make it, but um, he sends his well wishes. Ah, well, Rosemary will be disappointed, but I know it means a lot to her that you're both here. Well, enjoy. Thank you. Hello, Rosemary. Hello, Sister Claire. Boys versus girls. Except for what team is Steven going to play on? <laughs> That's not funny, guys. Yes. He just expresses himself differently. Okay. Rosemary? It's a bittersweet day, isn't it? Oh. Or... I know who you meant. staring at? Past. Okay. Whatever. Is it finished? Come on, Stephen. Show what you got. No. It can't, can it? Because they will remember. We'll play O'Connor's versus Younger's. We know what we're doing, right? Oh, yeah. And if you run like your mother, we'll be fine. <laughs> you remember to play. Right, if not, yeah, ask her. Okay, guys? Alexa, open up. Here we go. Here we go. Steven. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Here we go. Hey, ho, hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Hike the ball already. Hike the ball already. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. Hike. Hike. Oh. 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 Steven, what the hell is your problem? He's an old oh. man. Okay. Oh. Yo, Steven hit him hard. I can't believe how hard you hit your grandfather. Yeah, what made you do that so good? I'm gonna go outside. What's down there? What is this door in his Can you hear your prayers? 
I do. How come he never hears my name? Stephen. He hears you. Do you hear him? will be revealed to you in just a short time. I'll join you down there in a second. Okay. You should say you want. Connor's gourmet burgers and dogs to serve. Come and get it. Garvey, I'm taking you back to school to be alive tomorrow. <laughs> oh. oh, really? Well, uh, hold on. Serve. You're serving. <laughs> Absolutely. My beloved family, thank you all for making this journey and for ending here with me today. After 50 years of marriage to the same man, his predilections and his church, there are things I have not spoken of in order to keep this family together. Things are not what they seem. But today, all things will be revealed. And I will ask your forgiveness. Thank you, my Heavenly Father, for keeping me from harm and from danger. Let thy holy angel lie with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. Mom, stop. Are you okay? Yes, Emily. I'm fine. My chains are broken. What are you talking about? Have courage, Emily. Don't drown it. Did it hurt anyone? Let's just clear the place. Come on, kids. Help clear the place.
we should let them be alone. Through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Amen. Now, Michelle has a special prayer for her grandmother, and we will end with that. Michelle. Help me, Lord, to understand this mysterious death and to be healed by your grace. And made whole once again. And may the soul of my tormented grandmother find in the Savior's love, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear my prayer. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. My sincerest sympathies to you and to your family. Rosemary was a wonderful woman, and it's a very great loss. I'm very worried about Stephen. He was very close with his grandparents. When are you planning to return home? I'd like to gather her friends at the church for a farewell ceremony. That would be lovely. We have to pack Rosemary's things and go through our paperwork, but it shouldn't be more than a few days. All right, well, if you need guidance or you just want to talk, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you, Monsignor. You're welcome. Monsignor. There's a lot of bad energy here. You should get going as soon as possible. We will. We should go inside. And we're going to get going. But just remember, we're here for your family. I'm weighted by guilt. What guilt, sister? Rosemary. The torment, the soul. We will pray for her soul. And you are innocent of any wrongdoing. You have been a good friend to her. <laughs> a friend, not a friend. The friend would have spoken the truth years ago. Speak the truth to me, sister. I don't have the strength to face those demons now. I pray you do. Sister Claire, please. It takes everything. Do you see? Help me too. I'm really trying. Stephen? Michelle? Come inside, please. It's like talking to a brick wall. I don't know how to reach him. Just keep your heart open. Only the truth will heal his troubled soul. Why is it so cold in here? I don't know. The thermostat is up as high as it can go. But why is it so freaking cold? I don't know. <sighs> Seating's still locked in his room. Uh, yeah, you know, 
the lights and join you. We can all use a good night's sleep. Steven, you must be freezing. Michelle, pass me your blanket. I'm not cold. What do you mean you're not cold? It's freezing in here. Maybe if you wore more clothes and stop dressing like or you wouldn't be so cold. Hey! Don't talk to your sister like that. Maybe if I were a little more liquored up, Mom. I could ignore who was right in front of me this whole time. Do not talk to your mother like that. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't being rude. quiet in here. What? Whatever, let's go back to bed. It's too quiet. What was all that noise last night in your room? What was that about? I wasn't making any noise. <laughs> it sounded like an earthquake, Steven. I don't hear anything. Look, if your mother's still really shaken up, I need you to keep it down today, okay? Please. I found my dad's bow and arrows in the shed. Taking him out. I don't think that's a good idea. I second that. The um, house is warming up, so I'm gonna go take a shower. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever was wrong with the furnace, it's definitely fixed itself.
Stephen. Where have you been? I'm not in. What happened to you? Randy's made a beautiful dinner. Why don't you go and wash up, okay? I'm not hungry. Let's take the salad to the table. Okay. I don't know how to talk to him, Michelle. I'm trying, Mama. I'm here for him. I know you are. Come here. Thank you. Things getting really weird around here. What do you mean? Really, Michelle? Your grandma kills herself in front of everyone, and now Steve with all this freaky. <laughs> what do you think I mean? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound like that. No, but... you did. But it's true. Things are not right. Weird, as you say, and I don't know why. I was taking a shower earlier. And? I sensed a presence. Presence? I felt a presence, and when I turned, there was writing in the mirror. Words, like someone had traced them in the condensation. How? Who were the words? Help Stephen. It said, help Stephen. Furnace must have stopped working again. It's so cold. Oh, 
and take a look. Yeah, what I'm, happened? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I, got, I had to restrain him so he didn't hurt himself. What? Yeah, I didn't realize he was so strong. We should call Monsignor Canal. Why would we call Monsignor Canal? He can help. Michelle, you gotta get serious. Stephen is crazy. Your brother is crazy. No amount of religion can sugarcoat that. How do you explain the knife, Dad? We all saw it fly into his hand. We're going to work out what we're going to do. I'm gonna call the doctor and I'm gonna get him sedated. He needs our help, not drugs. You heard what he said, help me. I am gonna help him. I'm gonna get him sedated, Michelle. Do you think the part of Stephen's problem is that you are so hard on him? Michelle? I have tried my hardest, but nothing that I might have done could have turned him into that thing that was up there. My brother was fine and perfectly having me at our real dad. And, and how long ago was that? No, wait, you can't blame this on my dad. She did not mean that. Yes, she did. It's true. But baby, I am not the problem here. I know you're not the problem. He is. And when I say he, I do not mean Stephen. I mean his dad. His abandonment has taken away all the good that was in that little boy. And it's left a gaping hole of despair and I can't handle it anymore. Hey, Michael? Want some your canal? Michelle? Yes. Father Demont. Father, I need to speak to the Monsignor. This thing's terribly wrong with Stephen. He was screaming terrible things last night about, about killing, and he said something about you, Father, about that you you led him. Led him where? Um, I, I, I don't know. He was, just... he was yelling about the church, and, and you, not really you, just our... You're who, Michelle? Our, our dad. Listen, Michelle. Your family's going through a very traumatic time right now, and none of you are thinking clearly. Please, let me speak to Monsignor Cannell. I'm sorry, but Monsignor is busy right now, and he can't take the call. But I will, I will pass the message on to him. Okay? Okay. But thank you for calling, and uh, God bless. Thank you, Father. What's wrong? I'm not sure. Something is. Well, well, he doesn't have a temperature and his vital signs are normal, but what's abnormal? is for someone to move continuously for so long with no respiratory or heart rate increase. Uh, it's, it's not his body. Whatever is wrong is in his mind. So what can we do? I gave him a sedative, so he'll stay calm to head back tomorrow. Any change, call me. Thank you. No, I haven't done anything. You're the help he needs. We should, we should get going. Did you call Monsignor again? I'm waiting for him to call back. I'm sorry about what I said to your dad. No, no, it's fine. I know sometimes you can be a jerk. Alexa, I know Steven's not crazy. I think he's possessed. Shut up, you're scaring me. I'm scared too. That's why we need Monsignor Cannell. Well, call him, Michelle. Call him right now. This is Monsignor. As always, I got him. taking this opportunity to share Christ with you and with your family. Please leave your name and number, and I'll call you back. Monsignor, this message is for you. It's Michelle Tade. We really need you. I know we already called Father Jamal and he said you were busy, but we really need you here. Hello? Hello?
safely and get him to our hospital. I'm really worried. I know. We all are. Come here. Come here. I know. I know. What did he say? Who? Steven. I guess in Latin in his room. Do not lead me into temptation. What did he mean? I don't know. He said Father Dumal led me. I know. Let him wear Michelle. He said he led him to Malo. To evil. You came. Of course we did. I, 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 I'm so happy to see you. Uh, Father DeMaul wouldn't let me speak to the Monsignor, and, and, and Stephen's been screaming terrible things about Father DeMaul, about him taking him places and, and making him do Calm things. Calm down, and, and... child. Why don't you let us in? I, I'm coming. Monsignor. Monsignor had prior to this, but I can assure you he is very concerned. Your brother has been putting these malicious thoughts into your head, Michelle. I understand that you have questions. Why don't you come take a walk with us? Then we can discuss everything that's been going on. We could use you to help us find a way to best help your brother. Father. What? You're more dangerous. You don't have to do this. Tell the truth. It will all end. What truth? What did you do to Stephen? Where did you take my brother? I took him to hell. Exactly where I was taken. But Joseph took all those poor boys. Joseph was... Oh, shut, shut up! No, I won't. He's dead. You don't have to protect the past anymore. I'm taking her back. No, you're not. Ah! Ah!
not do this to the family. Enough! Enough! Enough. I can't take this anymore. Senior, he has killed. I want to see the boy. And I'll stay here with the girl. You will stay with me. lies. It's a devil, the demon, spewing filth. It's trying to turn our faith against us. Joseph, I swore on the Bible I would never tell. My soul is burning. How many more of us die because they know? Because you can't shut them up. I command you through the blood of Christ, release. Stephen Tate's soul. Come. I command you in the name and power of the Holy Spirit. Father in law, where are you taking me? Oh, Father in law, where did you take Stephen?
You out. Every unclean spirit. Free this child. Evil. What the hell do you know about evil? We command you. Be gone. Open your eyes, Marcia. Him. Go. Go. Killers! Killers! I've always been here to help you.
In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He killed my father. Please, don't you can see. I do see, Stephen. Mom. Stephen. Mom. Stephen. Stephen. Oh. Oh. He loved us. He tried to save me. He did everything that he could. Save many, Stephen, by what you've done here tonight. You are a strong young man. Detective Carey, please. Monsignor Cannell from St. Michael's. driving us down here. Yeah? I just needed to spend some time here, you know? I do. 
father was very special, Stephen. Yes. Like what we have. It's different. I just wish he would have taught me how to aim. No, he did, Stephen. <laughs> just close your eyes and remember. You can do anything, son. I've always been here to help you. I never left. People that bought it are moving in tomorrow. Lucky family. You don't mind, you won't get more. He's still here. I know. Feel it. Hey! Hey! Alexa! Emily! Thank you.